Hello, welcome to uh, another Clockwork Empires video. My name is Alfred. Thanks very much for watching this one. Uh, this is Clockwork Empires Revision 36, uh, sixth in uh, the episode, I guess, of my playthrough so far. Um, to this point, we've uh, we finally got most of our major workshops up and running. And uh, I guess we'll just pick it up from here. Alright. Well, things are coming together. Smithing Forge is only awaiting a small amount of materials. And a favor. Do I need more workers? Okay, yes, I do. There we go. We do have a bit of a food shortage now. But I think I can let food slide a little bit longer. Um, just because of the way <laughs> the recent food changes. And the colony is quite busy at the moment. So we've got corn. Oh, that's what I was going to do. So we've we've harvested some flax, and these existing plants will continue to grow until they're harvested for more flax. I think the next thing I want this farm to grow, though, will be opium. Just a small opium field that maybe, uh, if we get around to building a chemist, we can turn into a lot of them. I think I'm going to have to start expanding out in this direction. So let's clear this land. I'm definitely going to need more storage space. Let's clear this land here. And, uh... Build another generic... stockpile. Better uh, send some guys out to forage, actually. Here's a nice patch of fungus. Now, I only have one uh, idle work crew out of the 11 in here. I guess that means I have a ton of on jobs ongoing. Yeah, we'd probably better let things run for a bit before we assign any more. But things are going along quite well. I hope I have enough... Um, I hope I have the necessary parts to build this spinning mule, actually. Let's actually take a look at the... So the spinning mule requires two planks, two iron sheets, and two brass cogs. I, uh, oh, here we go. I don't, two brush, okay, I've got more than enough of everything. That won't be a problem. The lack of beds is becoming a problem. We're getting people sleeping on the floor, which is not ideal. Here's the new fancy uh, stone altar. Very fancy indeed, uh, it actually uses gold. I guess the clear, the clear coconut palm command doesn't quite work. I still have coconuts growing in the middle of my stockpiles. Ooh, that was a busy little. Oh wow, 41 clay. That was a busy couple of minutes. Ah, the smithing forge. So now, um, when I get the materials together, I can make stuff. I can make guns. Let me just double check what I actually have already. So I've got 12 pistols. Uh, but I want to make a revolver. Each revolver requires a pistol as a material. So I'm going to assign a crew into here. 
Let's make, uh, say, three pistols. I'm not going to bother making the rest of this. Yet. Um, yeah, I'll make the rest of them as it becomes necessary. So I've got a crew assigned to the arsenal. And uh, I've got some pistols queued up. So that was my first objective, I think. I'm pretty sure I said this stockpile was not supposed to have food in it. Well, no big deal, I guess it'll get sorted. Huh. I think I'll actually change this to a standing order for seven bricks. Just so I'll always have some on hand. Uh, we've got a supply drop. Let's see. Do I need materials? No. Do I need food? Probably. Uh, let's see. Sausages and bread. And um, three fish people incoming. I've actually got a stockpile overflow problem. Huh. I mean, I guess I could continue building stockpiles indefinitely. But I don't want my colony to become too... to sprawl too much. One solution is to refine some of these ores in that each of these, will, uh, producing one of these will require two things from my stockpile, which will reduce the overall volume and it will also uh, leave me with uh, some usable ores in my inventory. I might as well make this a standing order. Just always maintain a this amount of stuff. At all times. Now, if we look at this, uh, brass ingots are the most expensive. Uh, the most expensive of the products this uh, workshop can can make. Right? Each of these ores requires. Or each of these ingots requires an ore and a fuel, probably co uh, coal. But the brass ingots actually also requires fuel and two other ingots. So the total cost of the brass ingot is, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five items, right? It takes five, each of these brass ingots requires materials that occupy five spaces in the stockpile. And the things you make with them tend to be higher quality. So the expensive furnishings, um, let's see, the combat supplies, requires a brass ingot, gunpowder, and a bolt of cloth. I've been taking random material dro uh, component drops from the Empire, which means I haven't had much use for this uh, metalworks because I have most of the raw materials I need to make machinery and things, but it's nice to have this facility completed and ready to go at a moment's notice. Wow, uh, I think I might have to need even more stockpile space. Fair enough. And once we get the ores really going, uh, uh, hopefully we'll have enough room. <laughs> so I've got the arsenal, although nobody's decided to work in there yet. Probably because at the time I created the job they were all off uh, like farming or hauling. When they get done with those things, working in the workshop becomes their priority. So the next thing I want to do is to make a 
Uh, I guess I want to make a laboratory. So I can have uh, lab assistants and scientists in there and I can research this fishy idol. I, what are they shooting at? Oh, there we go. <laughs> This looks, uh, actually, this clearing looks like a nice spot to build a to build a laboratory. Let's put you right here, and uh, just so we don't have a perfectly rectangular building. here, and the door, and one more back here. This will be the one the scientists can sneak out of when the colonists, when the mob tries to burn down the building with their flaming pitchforks. I realize a, a mob would probably have flaming torches and pitchforks because it would be stupid to light your pitchforks on fire. chalkboard. Most important part is the macroscope. Apparently the vacuum chamber, it's possible to build a vacuum chamber, um, but it has no function. It can't be used for research. So I'm not going to build a vacuum chamber for now. Now between the textile workshop and the laboratory. We're going to need a lot of a lot of stuff. Ah, uh, the laboratory needs glass. Oh my goodness. As well as brick. Do I have glass? I don't have enough glass. I do have a bunch of sand though. And the same facility that makes bricks also makes glass. Let's see. Make glass your priority. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. I'm finally producing my own bricks. Well, I have logs aplenty. I should probably build, be building some gabions so I'm not constantly getting fishmen in the center of town. So I'm just going to use gabions to wall up the gaps between my buildings. Let's clear this out a bit. You know what? Um, let's use this gap to our advantage. So I have not placed a single mine. I've actually only got two, but uh, let's stick a landmine right here in this gap between gabions. Oh yeah, that'll do for now. Keeping the colony plenty busy. Actually, I think I want to... Uh oh This fishman is shooting at someone. Uh-oh, he's shooting at my aristocrat. Or my poet. I'm actually going to push the tree line back a bit, because I've expanded so far, I'm actually running out of space. Uh, the mysterious door. The textile workshop is complete, sort of. It's got no doors and it's got no machinery. And the windows aren't done. They're still not done. Oh, but someone's making a... Oh, two pistols have been manufactured. Where are they? Actually, trying to spot them by eye would be a silly thing to do. Um, I've got two pistols. I've got two revolvers in stock. Who has the revolver? Here's a revolver on the ground. 
This man is building a shovel. Okay, we've got revolvers. I just want... Oh! This lady is wielding a, revol a revolver. Does it actually say what she's... Alright, next time there's a fight, I have to check and see if anyone shoots a revolver. It's a fish person chasing my vicar. The soldiers are... They're on their way. Okay. That lady has just a regular pistol. I can't... Uh, I was hoping she had a revolver. Given that she's not stopping to reload, um, I think she may actually be firing the revolver. Unfortunately, it looks like she's just like making that trigger with her finger and uh, maybe the revolver firing graphics aren't in yet. But that's fine. We made a revolver. I, I saw it in action, kind of. Alright, the ceramics workshop has actually still not produced any glass. What do I need in terms of work crews? Um, I think most of my workers are of a pretty good size. You know what? I'm going to take materials. What did I get? Well, I'm not sure. lab is just waiting on some planks mainly and one sheet of glass and some bricks the textile or the, or the spinning jenny you can see some materials have been deposited some fighting going on in the outskirts another success successful session. Certainly got all the resources I need now to build anything. Um, and prospects are good for a uh, fishman transformation. Well, I shouldn't say that. I should say all the pieces are in place to research a fishy idol. The laboratory is being built. I actually dug up a mysterious artifact, and once it's done, I, I'm going to assign a crew there, so they can be my scientists, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Alright, so at some point the fishy idol got carried out of the textile construction site, and it got put into... well, it got put into a stockpile somewhere. There are just so many of them now. Uh, yeah, I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, here it is. Uh, just look at this thing. Ugh. This is really unpl- Oh, okay, no. That's not his bloated stomach. That's a malachite chunk. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Uh, thanks once again for watching. I think next session uh, should be an exciting one, where several things get finished. And, uh, yeah, so tune in then, I guess. My name is Alfred. This has been a session of Clockwork Empires, Revision 36. Being developed by Gaslamp Games. It's in early access. It's n totally not done yet. Uh, <laughs> thanks uh, very much for watching. I hope you found this informative. Have a good one. <laughs>